Hey guys, today we're gonna be making an outside click handler using React and we're gonna have a simple button here. Once we click on open, we're gonna have a card or a model here showing with some text and then we can click anywhere outside to close it. So we could click here, we can click here. So it doesn't matter where we click on, it's still gonna close. Right now I have it set up. So once we click the button, it's only gonna open. We're not gonna be able to toggle it if we click back on the button. But we can also make it toggle and open and close while we click on the button while keep having the same functionality that we can close it anywhere else. So there are plenty of ways how you can make this. You can make it your own by using hooks and uh, use ref hook as well. But we're going to be using a package to make it a lot more simpler. So going here, we're going to search for React outside click handler. And this is going to be the first link. I'm going to leave this in the description. So if you're using VS Code or any other editor, you would come there and you would copy this line. This is how you want to install it. So npm i react outside click handler. But since I'm using code sandbox here, I'm just going to add it as dependency. And we can come here and then I'll just search for the same name. So react dash outside dash click dash handler. And it's going to be this first one. And then these are some basic styles. If you guys want to grab those, I'll, you can pause the video. And here I have some basic styles for the button as well, just so we can see the card properly. So once we install it, we're going to come to app. And then we can import it by using this line right here. So we're going to copy that. Come here and we want to import that first. And we're also going to have a single state for this. So we need to import use state from React. So let's do that here. And then inside of here, we're going to make a state that's going to be hidden and set hidden. And we're just going to set that initially to false. Then we can also remove this text here. And then this is how we're going to call that. So we're going to render that as a component here. So outside click handler. And we also need a closing tag. And then inside of that, we're going to have a single button. So let's add that. And it's just going to say open. And once we click the button, we're going to toggle this state or just set this state to true it right now. So we're going to do on click. And then inside of that, we're going to pass an arrow function. We're going to call set hidden. And we're going to set it to true. And then under this handler, we're going to check if hidden is true. So we can do hidden and end. And in that case, we're going to add a return here. We're going to render a div with the class name card. It should be a lowercase. And then inside that div, we're going to have a single h1. And let's just add some text like hello world. So now that's only going to show if we click on the button. So you're going to be able to see that. But here we're going to need to decrease the size because I was testing this full screen. So it's a lot bigger. So let's just set this to like 300 by 200 maybe just so we can see it properly here. So if we click again, no, we're just going to be able to see that we can do anything else. Then if we go back, there's one thing we're going to need to add. So on this component, which is outside click handler, we're going to add a prop, which is on outside click. Then that's going to be equal. And we're going to pass an arrow function here. And inside of this, we're going to use this state, which is set hidden. So we want to update set hidden back to false. Because right now, this is false initially. Once we click the button, we're setting it to true. And then once we click outside anywhere, we're setting it back to, back to false. And the card is only showing if the hidden is true. So if we save that, reload the page, and we click open, we're still going to get the same card. But now if we click here, for example, we're also going to be able to close it. And we can click anywhere on the component. But if we click on the button, we're not going to be able to toggle it. But that's uh, easy to fix as well if you want to toggle it on the button while having the same functionality as we have here. So we can just change this instead of true. We can remove that and just set it to not hidden. So this is going to be the opposite value of whatever this is. So if this is false, once we click on the button, this is going to be true. If we click again, this is going to be false. So now if you click open, we can see that. We can click on the button to close it as well. 
we click the button and we click outside, we're still going to be able to close it the same way. And then this doesn't make much sense now since it's always going to say open. So we can change this, move this to a new line. We're going to check if hidden is true. We're going to set the text to say close. Otherwise, we just want it to say open. And then if we save that, we have a button saying open. And if we click on it, it's going to say close. If we click here, it's going to switch back to open. And if we click the button, it's going to do the same exact thing. So that would be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.